Hey guys, today we're at Rainbow Worms, and Rainbow Worms has been a donator for our youth foundation for many years. Anytime we need worms for one of the kids' events, our kids' club, they always step up and donate them. So today we're going to visit Rainbow Worms. Standing next to me is David. Hey, David. Hey. He's the manager here, and he's going to explain to us some of the worms and stuff that they have here. So starting off with this one, this will be the super worm. This is our biggest worm, and these come from Africa. And this is actually the cousin of the mealworm, which is the, one of the main products that we sell here. So these are the African cousins of these mealworms right here. And this is the, you know, the mealworms that we sell. This is our, kind of like our bread and butter, if you mm -hmm. will. Um, now those, and then we start also growing the giant mealworms over here. And these are the exact same ones. They just have a little bit of a different of a diet, and they grow to a much mat bigger size. And these are the red giants, which were more, um, sorry, uh, designed for fishing. The red's easier to see in the water. It catches the eye of whatever you may have in there. So it's also a little bit of a variation from the golden ones as well. Cool. Over here, we have, uh, well, they're known as tomato worms, goliath worms, or um, hornworms. And uh, these guys get incredibly huge, so they get about as big as a thumb, if you want to see it. <laughs> what the size of one of these guys. That's a worm? Yeah. And these guys, like I said, they could get a little bit bigger than this, but their size gets very immense. And that's how they get that name, Goliath worms, because they're so huge. Now, are those used to feed reptiles and birds? Or? Exactly, yeah. Because yeah, I've never seen anybody fish with those. You know what? Yeah, I've never seen anybody fish with them because they're very, very uh, soft-bodied, so they probably wouldn't hold too well with a hook or anything like that. But uh, these are more for reptiles. They have a great source of hydration. You might see these growing if you grow tomato plants. You might see them eating your plant, but they're a little bit darker. Okay. The reason that they're this nice little neon green color is that they are their their food. Mm -hmm. It has to be specifically given to them like this special food because if they eat any part of the leaf of the tomato plant, they'll become toxic towards reptiles. So they're given that food and it changes them that neat little color. Cool, cool. Now all these products here are open. The public can come here and buy them? Absolutely. Every single one of these items is here and you can purchase upon request. We also have a couple of different various types of feeders like roaches and uh, silkworms and things like that as well. And I know crickets are real big for you guys. Crickets is also one of our big ones as well. You know, for reptiles, you know, some types of fish like arowanas, those, mm. those big old, they like those big old crickets. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we sell a bit of everything here for whatever you may have. If it's a live feeder that you need, we probably will have it. Yeah, there's a lot of fishermen that do use crickets, especially up in high Sierras in that area for the trout. Yeah. So probably some guys are coming for that too. They also have a tackle shop here, and then they also have uh, supplies and stuff for reptiles. Yeah. Trying to be a one-stop shop, huh? Basically, yeah, it's a main idea, trying to get that going for everybody to make it convenient for whatever cool. you're picking up. And do you guys have a website where people can find you? Yes, we do, at rainbowmealworms.com. And, uh, you know, you can see a list of everything that we sell. We have combo packs designed towards a specific animal or whatever you may need. And we ship to every part of the U.S., so it should not be an issue with that, so. Okay, cool. Well, thanks a lot. No problem. Well, that's today's video blog here from Compton, California, at Rainbow Worms. Don't forget to subscribe right here to get all our videos on our YouTube channel and follow me on Facebook and Twitter too. I'll talk to you again next week.